Hi guys, today we're going to take a brief look at HK's first 5.56 rifle, the HK-33. Introduced in the late 1960s as a response to the emergence of the new 5.56 round and the introduction of the FN Cal, the HK-33 is little more than a scaled down version of HK's successful 7.62 rifle, the G3. Developed by Tilo Mola, the 33 used the same roll delay blowback action and shared many of its features with the G3. It had a stemmed receiver and used the same plastic furniture and pistol grip trigger mech housing as the G3. The rifle was 39 inches or 92 centimeters long and was by no means a light weapon, weighing around 4 kilograms or 8.7 pounds. The 33 fed from either 25, 30 or 40 round proprietary HK magazines. The rifle came in two main variants, a full length version with a fixed stock, which could be fitted with a collapsible stock, and a shortened K variant with a shorter barrel. The weapon came with either a safe semi full auto or safe semi three round burst fire control mechanism. The 33 was not adopted by the West German Army, however it did see pretty extensive use with Germany's federal and state police forces, as well as the Bundeswehr's special forces. While it wasn't adopted at home, the 33 was a successful export weapon, with dozens of countries purchasing and adopting the rifle. France tested an improved HK-33F in the early 1970s, and although it performed well, the FAMAS was adopted instead. A production license was sold to Thailand, who adopted the 33, purchasing 40,000 rifles, and a license to manufacture 30,000 more. Thailand also developed their own unique bullpup version of the rifle, the Type 11. Malaysia also purchased 55,000 HK-33s, and the Spanish Guardia Seville used them for a time. The manufacturing rights for the HK-33 were also sold to Portugal and to Turkey, where it remains in production today. HK produced the 33 from 1968 through to the late 1980s, and it also provided the base for the HK-53 5.56 submachine gun, which we've covered previously. And it was also the basis of the less successful G41, which we've also covered in a full length episode. Here we can see the HK33 disassembled next to a G41. The similarities are easy to see, but the G41 had a number of subtle changes. Check out our earlier video to find out more. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick look at the HK33. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe, and you can now support the project over on Patreon. The link to that is in the description box below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.